Joining me here now is the head coach for Eastern Men's Basketball, Bill Geidner. Coach, team battled back from being down in that first half and second half, taking the game to overtime. Just to start off, what was the biggest thing that stood out to you from this game today? You know, I thought when we made our run in the second half, we became a little bit more competitive. Um, you know, I thought the first half we started, first six or seven minutes, we were playing well, and then kind of when they went at us and, and you know, threw their first punch at us, um, you know, we didn't respond very well. We kind of got back on our heels, got tentative. Um, you know, I thought our body language was bad, getting down big. Um, but I thought, you know, those last 12 minutes, 10 minutes of regulation and the overtime, like we, we started to be more assertive and, and be more aggressive. Um, you know, and then obviously things are going well for us offensively, so we're able to guard a little better. Um, you know, we're still a really, really young club and, you know, still trying to figure out a ton of things, um, you know, only six games into the year. But, you know, I'm proud of the guys that they competed and they battled um, because there for a while it didn't look like we were, were going to battle. Um, yeah, so it, you know, guys made big plays and, and we had some stops down the stretch, which, you know, are, were really, really important for us to get back in the game. So you mentioned the youth of this team. We saw somebody new we haven't seen yet, Max Lee. What was the decision to put him in there? He hit that big three coming down the stretch, you guys. What was the decision to have him in these key moments down the stretch? Yeah, you know, Max is you know another one of the many newcomers we have. Um, you know, he got off to a great start in the beginning this year with practice and stuff, and then you know he was shut down with a with injury, um, so he hasn't been an option lately. And you know we decided to kind of go big when we had Rakesh and Q out there. Um, and you know we needed to give Corey a rest because he had been playing so much and with the game tomorrow um, you know Max has been working hard and deserved an opportunity and you know I thought as well as you know knocking down the three he had a couple big steals uh, created some turnovers for us on the defensive end so you know the things that we preach it's you know next man up and you know I think Max has, has worked extremely hard and you know deserved his shot today and it was great to see you know things work out for him and for us Two more questions for you, Coach. A.J. Edwards, no points in the first half, 24 points in the second half in overtime. What has impressed you most about his play over these last few days and today? You know, A.J. is a really competitive guy. Um, you know, I thought when he came back in, I thought the first half he came back in and just, you know, wasn't into the flow of things. Um, you know, whether he's getting adjusted to, you know, coming off the bench, it's a different role for him. Um, you know, so the first time he checked in in the first half, just didn't seem like he was ready to go. In the second half, um, you know, I thought he came in with more energy, more aggressiveness, you know, both offensively and defensively. And, um, you know, the talent with A.J. isn't a question. It's, you know, whether he's, you know, mentally and physically ready to go every day. And, you know, clearly the second half and, and overtime, you know, he, he took it up a level. This game today, I was only imagining what it'd be like if we were able to have fans here, how the gym would have been. How great does it finally feel to be back out here playing basketball here at home in this new normal that we all are living in now? You know, it's awesome. Um, you know, the kids have made so many sacrifices um, and, you know, just happy to see them out playing the game that they love. Um, you know, and clearly, you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the craziness that would have been going on in here in, in Geisler if, you know, students and fans were able to be here. Um, you know, but it, it, that's what it's all about this year. It's our guys creating their own energy uh, and own passion for the game. So happy to be playing because there's so many that, that aren't playing uh, in these tough times. Coach, thank you for the time and good luck tomorrow. All right, thanks a lot.